Hey folks, Lance Strider here, and welcome to another episode of Atom Smasher. I'm here today with Whisperfire. Hello. Today we are going to go on a little bit of an adventure. We're, we're going to head off and go to uh, a catacombs and see if we can't uh, collect some ender pearls now. Uh, spoiler alert, we were I was there. Uh, Whisper found it originally, and then I went and checked it out because I, I really just wanted some ender pearls. So I already did kind of do a little bit of ender pearl farming, but we're going to go and actually try to clear a little bit of it and try to make it a little more safe. Um, before we head off to do that, there's a few things we wanted to, to share with you. But check this out. I've got grass now. Ha ha ha! I've got grass in my little foresty area. I'll show you how I did that here in just a second. Uh, also, I moved the sheep. I had the sheep over on Sheep Island over there, but I moved them over here since I was able to make grass. And now I can do sheep over here and shear them and stuff. Been uh, raising some pigs so that I can slaughter them and maybe get my difficulty down a little bit because it's starting to get really far up there. In fact, because Whisper is here, my difficulty is actually averaged down a little bit. And mine's over 200 if I'm by myself. <laughs> Switched up the garden a little bit. It's now mostly wheat because wheat is what you need to make bread to turn in for the for the copper coin. Uh, and I re rearranged the building a little bit. I did a little bit of work on the building here. I got rid of this door on this side. Um, the top corner up on these uh, these corners here, these are actually facade on the Xnet. I think I showed that previously, but uh, I did figure out how to disguise the turret base. You got to put the add on the add on the turret concealer in there, and then when you right click on it with a block, it will take on that appearance of that block. Um, and then these are being, I think I did explain, did say that I was going to show this in the next one. So let me just take me a second here. This There's another one right over here, right on this corner. Uh, and again, all of these are connected with the XNet cables. And the XNet cables, here, let me sweep so we don't uh, have any issue with the uh, mobs. We shouldn't. But that's what those turrets are out there for. They're, they're not really to shoot players. Those ones out there don't, don't attack other players. Uh, so come on in here. Um, but yeah, they're connected up with XNet cables. And if we go down, yeah, I'm gonna jump on the elevator here. This is new. Look, it's the elevator. We got the elevator from RF Tools. You can see right there is one of the elevator blocks. Uh, you can put a name on it. The name is then transferred to the screen. If you shift right click on the screen, I've got these elevator block uh, screen button things. The recipe for those is actually not too bad. These are really not too bad. And in fact, I did make the um, the elevator block much cheaper than most other RF tools because it's just a neat block and they work quite well work quite well even on a server they're nice and smooth okay uh, down here this one is set to uh, basically obliterate anybody that comes down here that's not, that's not on the guest list so right now now unfortunately I can't put people on the guest list unless they're online so I haven't had a chance to put ask in uh, uh, or, or not flame on the guest list. Those are certainly definitely people that would be on the guest list if they were online at the same time as me so I can add them. But uh, Dornell and Whisperfire are on there right now because she's not getting obliterated. Uh, vaporized, man, these things work too. Um, well, I got another friend who who is not on the guest list who, uh, who tests it for me. Uh, Brom, who has the best armor in the game, quantum armor and it does take him down. He's got 50 health. If he didn't have the 50 health, it would actually kill him. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, he cannot, he can't come down here for more than maybe like a second or two <laughs> before he has to run, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so other things that we need to just quickly, briefly touch on uh, are the camel bench, but let me finish up the XNet explanation real quick. Uh, so I don't get too far off of, off track here. So right here, you can see that I made a crafter from our tools. Tier, just a tier one crafter doesn't need to have a lot of recipes because that's what's making my bullets. Now I don't have any supplies in there right now because I'm trying to use up some of this this back supply. I accidentally create overcreated a bit of ammo when I had to break one of the turret things up there, and this thing kind of got ahead of itself. But all I got to do is. Um, to make sure that my my turrets up there on the top and again those are only for npc defense they just kill mobs that may happen to spawn and wander towards the, our place the only thing i got to do is put some osmium gunpowder and iron in there and it will make sure that there's always ammo in these slots now the way that those that that ammo gets there is again that's through the xnet if you want to come on down with me i'll show you kind of how this works come on down to the basement here 
That's a little hard to get to right now because I haven't put in the uh, scaffolding, or not scaffolding, but uh, the platform stuff. There's going to be some platform stuff down here. So there'll be like a little ring of things to go around. But like right here, if you get up on top of the the, um, the block here, the, the, the big old, what is this thing called? Digital miner. That's what it's called. If you get on top of the digital miner and you jump right under this controller, you can right click and open that up. Uh, and you can see that it is connected to two uh, turret bases and obviously it has to be connected to a controller. It's also connected to uh, the power cell right up there and we're going to be explaining what we're going to be using that for. And it's connected to the crafter. So, and it has two channels set up. Channel one is the power channel. You can see that it, it the E here means that it is extracting from the power cell. If we click on that you can see that there's some settings that you can do for that. Uh, maybe I will get in a little deeper into how all this works in a, in a future episode where we'll, we'll like really get into like setting some other things up But this is this is a pretty good system to demonstrate how it works um, And then it inputs power into the turret base into the uh, The connector it doesn't need to input power into the controller because the controller is actually hooked directly to the uh, The cable up there you can see right there the, the mechanism cable the universal cable goes right into the controller So I don't need to worry about uh, bringing power into that it gets power from another source but and it also is powering the crafter now the channel 2 is items so items it's uh, exporting from the crafter and of course it only exports from those export block from the from the export uh, inventory uh, the output inventory and then it inputs into both the turret bases because both of those use that ammo that, that's all there is to it that's all there is to it. I, mean, I know that's a very, very simple, very quick, brief thing about that. Now, the other thing that's up there is the power cell. And you can see that I have a power card in there, link ID, and then link ID three. And if I look in my ender sack here, I've got another power cell and a copy of that link card, I link ID three. So I can set this power cell down anywhere else in the world. As long as this area is loaded, hopefully this area is going to stay loaded. I didn't even think about that. Maybe I should have put the loading thing in the digital miner, but this is a four by four chunk area that the base actually occupies. So I'm not sure. I would need to like load all four chunks. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, we'll guess we'll see how well it works. It may or may not work. I'm hoping that it will. I'm hoping that it will. But we're going to go to the the thing, and we're going to set up a little little forward operational base up there. Let's head back up to the work floor. Because what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to borrow the lasers off here for today. We're going to take the upgrades out. All these upgrades out. So we're going to take those with us. Isn't that cool how they uh, actually change? These are the physical appearance changes on the laser when you take the upgrade, when it has the upgrades. I thought that was pretty neat. Either being very quiet or you've lost your microphone. <laughs> No, 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 no. I just wanted to to let you talk because, yeah, this thing looks really cool. And with the upgrades, it shows every time it renders. All right, so let's um, want to hit drop turrets. Those are all going to pop off. I'm going to pick them all up and they're going to come with me. You can see that I uh, that's the other thing I noticed about these. If you put the camouflage unit in there and then click on it with a block and then take the camouflage unit out, the base block does retain the, the thing, so you don't have to keep it in there. Um, but if you do keep it in there, the, 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 the lasers, the guns, or whatever you have on there will hide when they're not active, which is I, I do like that on the exterior ones, so I left them in there. Okay, so back to this thing over here. The, yeah, the camo bench. So in order to really kind of demonstrate a camo bench, uh, well, we can just look at the interface for one. Uh, each one of these things has uh, different things you can do. There's a slot here, like I can take my scar, put my scar in there. You may remember my scar from previous. Right there is the normal uh, texture of the scar, which is kind of like a, uh, I don't know, kind of like a olive green, maybe. And I'm sporting the black texture of the scar right here. Yeah, same gun right there, just the black texture, which I much prefer, much prefer. So we're gonna switch ours back. There we go. Back to the black scar. I also made a light machine gun. I also made a mini gun, uh, but I lost it when the first trip to the uh, to the uh, catacombs. There was a couple of incidences. I did eventually get my stuff back. I only lost one heart. 
total, <laughs> so it's okay. Uh, but to demonstrate, not every armor, like if you see over here, there's some plus and minus buttons. Uh, the ranger armor doesn't have any extra textures, but one of the ones that does is the bandit armor. The bandit armor has a couple textures. I think it has like three. So like, you can switch through. There's white, there's uh, black, and then there's the brown and the green. So it actually has four. Four. Four different things you can do with the bandit armor. So you can definitely customize, you know, your look a little bit depending on what you got there. I, I actually prefer the green. Let's put it back to green. Put it back to green. Or black. Black's actually kind of nice too. Uh, and then the, the boots I have here. These are the combat boots. So if you actually had the combat um, set. I think you have a combat set back at your place. Uh, that, no, I'm wearing the combat set. No, nah, that's the commando set. Uh, pew, the pew, pew. The, yeah, yeah. I think combat is the combat boots go with the soldier gear. So I think I might be wrong. Anyway, let me put this stuff in my bag real quick. I'm gonna put it in my uh, sack of storage, and then I'll make sure that it's in my ender sack just in case something nasty goes goes all wrong. We're gonna because the ender sack, if uh, worst case scenario, the ender sack I can still access right. Oops, too high, too high. Right here, there's an ender chest, so I can still get to that stuff. It's not lost if, if, if I die and uh, can't get back to my stuff for some reason, or the grave somehow gets destroyed, or, or there's, there's certain things that can go wrong. But I think, yeah, I think that was the main things we wanted, I wanted to discuss. Uh, oh, I was going to say how I got the uh, grass. If you want to come back down, I'll show that little block. It's nothing too, too big. It is just, I made one of these things right over here. Where'd it go? If I can find it. There it is. The hydrator. Uh, recipe for the hydrator. It does take moss stone, a block of iron, a dropper, a couple of things. But this ring right here in my hand, if you give it water, right? It definitely needs to have water. So I put it against the pipe and it fill up with water. And then it has an inventory where you put some things in it. It can hydrate uh, concrete, and then there's a few other recipes that it could do. I don't know if there's a recipe button in here somewhere. Show recipes, there it is. You can make grass blocks with it. You can make gravel from dirt. You can make mycelium if you have that. You can turn uh, snow into ice. That's actually kind of convenient. Actually, there's quite a few things you can do with this. Quite a few things. You can make prismarine shards in here if you have ender pearls. It seems I'd, I'd rather just go hunt the things. But yeah, a lot of things you can do with this. It it does have a little bit of a, a magic feel to it. So I, I didn't really want to keep it laying around in the base. So I put it away when I'm not using it. I just wanted it to make grass, grass blocks. So that's what I made it for. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's I think that's everything I wanted to like go over before we head off to the cemetery. So let's uh, let's head that way. On the way. Okay, I am almost at the marker. Is that the no? That's yeah. That's here's the here's the base thing right here that I was talking about. It's pretty close, but it's not too close. Do we want to like, do we want to establish in this thing or do we want to? Yes. <laughs> All right. I am ready. All right. We're here. We've uh, established ourselves in this little uh, abandoned miner shack here. Um, well, it's abandoned now that we've killed everything that was in here. Of course, I think that we did that on a previous run. But uh, yeah, we put some beds in here, and uh, you can see, I see right behind me, right over there, is the catacombs that we're going to be raiding. Now, um, it's a bit of a debate whether we should try to clear out some of the gravestones on the surface, because like once we go in and step on a nightstone, now you can be really careful and just not step on them, but there's a lot of nightstone in there, and eventually you're either probably going to step on one, uh, or it's eventually just going to turn night, which is actually looks like it's about to do. Uh, and yes, as soon as it does, all of those gravestones are going to start spawning mobs. So let's go ahead and hit the hay now. And we'll stick to the surface and clear the area and make it safe so that everyone else can farm for enderpearls. Just got a few seconds to wait. 
Uh, yep, got a few seconds. Three, two, and one, our difficulty two. is skyrocketing. Yeah, that's mostly because of me. I'm up over 200, so... Uh, a little trick about these, uh, about beds in this version of Minecraft. If you, uh... Turn them to face this way... Come on. There we go. If the face is that way, you won't hit that. You won't take that little half heart damage whenever you're, uh, whenever you get out of it. Yep. Like this? Yep. All right. That's something so, I've been recently informed of. Ah. So, how do you want to tackle this? Uh, well, yeah, like I said, we can we can clear out a lot of these gravestones on the on the surface while the day the sun's up, and you know we can you know just go right over there, and uh, this is gonna give us a lot of loot, so we might end up needing to uh, make a a few more chests for in the in the little tent thing. But yeah, every one of these what? is going to turn into a mob spawner as soon as the sun goes down. And like I said, as soon as you step on a nightstone inside there, it makes the sun go down. Stupid Kindrel Knight. I'm beating up a slimy block. Did you forget a shovel? Yep, I forgot a shovel. There's a way to avoid that. Um, if you're looking for a universal tool that you don't have to worry about whether you have a shovel, pickaxe, or whatever, or axe, you can make yourself a mechanism a molecular disassembler. Oh yeah, they look like, like little birdies on sticks. Yeah, that's one way to describe it. Well, they look funny. They look goofy. It's like a funny birdie on a stick like it was a puppet or something. <laughs> I, I, I totally agree. They do have a, They do look odd. They have, these gravestones have weird hitboxes, so sometimes you have to hit them from the side. Yeah, so, yeah, I noticed that. Like, that's, it, it, it's just certain ones, and yeah, you, you can see the little box, even though it's, you know, you think you got it targeted, but it's not. The box is actually sideways, and so that's probably a bug that the, that uh, Night Josh, Night Josh is? I think is how he, is, is the, the mod creator's actual, his uh, moniker. Oh, 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 incoming blight mob. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yikes! Two of them. Watch out, watch out, run, run, run. Don't, don't let them, don't let them hit you. They are going to be nasty amounts of damage. Oh no! Time to get the big gun out. Nice! Hey look, you got a heart shard. Nice. I think next uh, update I am going to increase the maximum number that can drop from them guys so that it's a little more rewarding to kill them. Yeah. So we're just breaking these gravestones, right? Yep, yeah, just breaking gravestones. Right now I'm just clearing my inventory of all the excess gravestones. There's no reason to keep these around. Uh, the stuff that you get out of them, though, sometimes you get a villager out of them. So you might be a decent villager. Like I just got a farmer. That's not really decent. So he can go. He he can go drowned. <laughs> he's he's dead already. He's not gonna yeah. care. Yeah. But it's, you might get like a a decent one, like a priest or you know or something that like a druid. You know, you might want to like resurrect. And there is a temp um an altar that you can create that allows you to resurrect them for the co just the uh, mere cost of 20 levels. That's pretty expensive. Yeah, you got the irony there, right? <laughs> the mere cost. Yeah. yeah. And we're going to end up with a ton of bones, obviously. Uh, and occasionally we might get a weapon or, you know, even a gemstone, uh, an enchanted book occasionally could happen. It wouldn't even be bad to like r remove some of these trees just so we can see. Yeah, this is quite a bit of work. Whoever pre-built this, uh, this the template for this uh, for the structure was these are procedurally pretty... generated. Oh, they are. Yeah, um, everyone that you ever find is going to be different than 
well, somewhat different anyway than the pre and any of the other ones you find. And how rare are these in the world? Uh, pretty rare. You won't usually find them closer than 500, uh, uh, not 500 chunks, but 500 blocks. So like in a thousand block radius, you might find one. So to find another one, you need to travel a minimum of 500 blocks, I believe. And then there's a small chance after that to finding one. So, so yeah, they're fairly rare. Um, I don't think I've ever seen one, you know, very close to another one. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, 500, 500 blocks. I believe there's some settings for that. Uh, these are the default settings as far as rarity in this pack, because I feel that they're they're pretty rare, rare enough. You know, when I uh, walked by this while recording uh, a few episodes ago, I honestly was so close of just simply passing by without giving it a marker. I had no idea the significance and how important these structures are. I All I knew it was it looked like it was full of trouble and best to stay away. Well, you're definitely right on the full of trouble, um, because yeah, these can be extremely dangerous if you don't, if you're not familiar with them, and if you just haphazardly go in. <laughs> um, I did find myself a librarian. I'm gonna hold on to that guy, and a priest. So I'm gonna hold on to that guy as well. Those are yep, decent got a ones. Priest, got a farmer. Oh, a librarian. I wouldn't I wouldn't bother with the hold on to the farmers because they're pretty common. Like you can find them in almost any village. Like the priest, the librarian, can, sometimes you can go a few villages without finding one, but I actually gotta throw that wood away. I'm gonna put that on. Because that might not be bad to have my shield out just in case we run into a soldier of some sort. Yeah, that would be bad. A smith. I found a smith. I'll keep a hold of him. I am definitely in the market for bones because I want to make white concrete for building purposes. Oh, that, that, that'd be nice. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely have a bunch of bones from here. No problem. Um, and then I can put some loot away here. I'm gonna put away my villagers that I'm keeping. I'm gonna hold on to the rotten flesh because I can turn that into leather and leather is quite useful at times. There's a lava pit over there so that if you wanted to just drop off stuff. Yeah, that's where I've been taking stuff to drop so that it, uh, it so I don't end up keep picking it back up. Uh, looks like we've gotten this area, this quadrant fairly cleared. Is that a farmer? What is that guy? That's a farmer. Uh, I'll throw him out later. <laughs> okay, here's, oh, we here's get more. corpses. So aside from the press impressive cemetery, where are the beginnings of the catacombs? Uh, as soon as we go into the mausoleum at the center, you are in the catacombs. Oh. It goes straight down and in and you're there. You're on level one. It goes down in several levels. I think five. And from my understanding, I've never actually gotten through the catacombs, to be 100% honest. They're just that rough. <laughs> Um, in any previous playthrough of any other pack, um, except for like way back when I did, uh, what was that? Dang it, I can't think of the, the name of that one pack I did. Or, uh, it'll come to me here in a minute. Um, but it was the one where you had to like uh, rebuild the world. It was all wasteland. Oh, regrowth. Regrowth. Thank you. I I I, I figured you might. Remember. Yeah, in regrowth. Yeah. I did go to the very bottom of a catacomb in regrowth. But to qualify that, the mod has had a lot of updates and it is definitely rougher than it used to be. <laughs> and it was yeah. pretty dang rough then. It was pretty dang rough then. And I had some mega overpowered stuff at that point when I went down in there too. So just Speaking of overpowered, um wanted to uh talk to you about the tech guns mod some of the mods are 
some of the mobs are overpowered. They can one-shot you. Yeah. Insert gripe and complaint here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I had a lot of people telling me that... Uh, well, I, wanna say, I shouldn't say a lot of people. I had one particular player that was uh, really pointing out the fact that, uh, you know, it, it, it wasn't a very hard pack, and I'm known for making hard packs. It's kind of Uh-oh, like, it's getting foggy. Kind of like, uh-oh. Kind of like one of my signature things, and that the pack needed to be harder if it was going to be a pack that I made. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I can deal. Uh, no problem. Give me just one second. Yeah. Throw in. Uh, I actually, <laughs> I actually heard that uh, that another pack you made, Features Edge, was pretty hard. Yeah, yeah, and it was a hardcore pack. Uh, when we did the server on that, yeah, it is getting groggy. Let me. I'm gonna like fly over and hit the bed so that we don't. So that okay. We don't get a ton of until we don't get an overrun situation here, which we're about to get if I don't get in the bed. Yeah, I'm hiding. So yeah, when I had the server for uh, Future's Edge, uh, it was it was a it was a YouTuber only server actually at the time, and it was set to hardcore. It you had a limited number of lives. Wow. So. Only a few people had to get uh, new lives. <laughs> had to get extra lives. I had to give a few out. Um, so, but mostly everybody did okay. Did okay. They and there was ways to get extra lives in the pack. So built into the quest book, which is something I definitely like to do when I make my hardcore packs. Is like give you the ability to uh, to redeem yourself. You know, if you uh, if you just have a few, because you know, everybody's gonna die once. There's, there's no doubt about yeah. it. You're going to die once or twice. So I Everybody like to start with five. Derps. Yeah. <laughs> start with five and then have a way to redeem a few extra or, or gain a few extra through the quest book. Goodness, there's a lot of a lot of graves up here. Now, and, and, and again, I'm going to re reiterate why we're breaking all these is because as soon as the sun goes down and goes past a certain point and we step on one of those night stones, every one of these turns into a mob spawner <laughs> so if you go into the catacombs like I said if you go in haphazardly especially if you go in haphazardly what's gonna happen is all of these um, gravestones on the outside are gonna immediately spawn a bunch of mobs so as you try to retreat after you realize that oh that went over my head uh, you have to retreat through a field a minefield of nasty stuff so it's a good idea to remove these if you're trying to uh, to make the area safer. And the other reason to remove these is because it, it's just gonna it's gonna be a ton of somebody dug a hole right there. Uh, it's just gonna be a ton of mobs that are spawning on the surface, causing lag uh, that you don't need while you're down trying to fight a bunch of other mobs. So I have died many times to lag. Yeah. Not fun. So the more of these that we can remove, and we're probably still going to miss a few, and there's just so many of them. So many of them. Well, there are trees in the way. That, that too. I haven't seen much good treasure up here, and I'm not, I guess I shouldn't be too surprised for the surface, but if we're on the surface. Most of the surface ones are probably not going to be that great. Oh, um, I need to make another holding sack. I uh, lost it when I uh, died in the nether the first time. That's when my uh, my death point was like over a thousand blocks away from the portal. Oh, the, the like, yeah, the... The one, the one I wrote off as lost and just went ahead and just built new gear from, from scratch. You still have the marker though, don't you? Oh yeah, I still have the marker. Okay, so you could eventually get it back. That was the plan, yeah. Oh, uh, speaking of which, thank you for fixing the nether portal thing. Oh, no problem, yeah. I, I figured, uh, well I had to fix mine anyway, so I figured might as well do both while I was at it. Because I, yeah. I was getting annoyed of having to run across my mushroom island every time I went to the nether and came back and I had to go across, especially when I came back at night. Even though I'm on a mushroom island and it's mostly safe, mostly safe, uh, there's still occasionally a Dalek or something like that spawns on there. 
got a lot of chickens. Oh, chickens around here? Yeah. Alright, I am walking over places where I've been. Ah, here's some graves. There's some, like, hidden in the foliage. Yeah, I've removed a few trees. Do we want to show them the uh, the back way in that I already made, or do we just want to go in the front door when we're ready? Let's go the back door. That sounded wrong, but you know. <laughs> you heard it. She wants to go in the back yeah. door. <laughs> What's that? Flying sound? blaze and slice. Oh my God! It's a rare mob. Oh. Fly and blaze and slice. He's coming for us. Fly and blaze and slice. Where's he at? I hear him. I think he's inside the building. Is he inside the building? Okay. I think so. Where is he? Dun dun. Dun dun. Where is he? Careful. He shoots lasers and is nasty and flies and... Ah! There... Ah! Watch out! Dang it, reload! Woo! Woo! Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was an old crap moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a fun one. Oh. <laughs> goodness. Hey, there's a boat. <laughs> so, must have been one of the times I had to boat back. All right, let's see here. I am going to get rid of some things into the water. Let's see, I've got some smiths, uh, some librarians, some priests, and a few farmers. I'm just going to keep all these. I, mean, I can make my own little village by resurrecting these guys later on. That could be kind of cool. Yeah. Um, I think um, we can return to the outpost and deposit our inventory yeah, it's a good while idea. we're still ahead. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's a few right over here on this side of the river, too, that we can probably should take care of real quick. And Ooh. it looks like the sun's going down again. No, 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 never mind. It's like noon. <laughs> never mind. I am wrong. Whew, okay. So let's just toss all that in there. All that. We may need to make another wooden chest. Oh, yeah, definitely going to need to make some more inventory space for in here especially once we start going in there and getting the actual treasure because like I said the surface stones you're not gonna get much out of not much useful anyway look at all of these bones I'm coveting the bones yeah I, I, I tried to save some and I know I've probably a bunch of them despawned now over here but uh, whoo there's still, there's still some, some graves, gravestones out front here. That, I wonder if that thing that came after us was the Fly and Blaze and Splice thing. I can't remember what they're called. Um, well, I'm not hearing it anymore, but we could be also out of range. Well, I'm on that. Yeah, careful, careful. Walk. No, 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 no. See, don't step on those night stones right there. You see those right there? Oh, no. he's still in there. He's still in there. I hear him. What's a night stone? Okay. It looks just like... Uh, nether brick. Unless you have a texture pack, you probably won't know the difference. Oh, I see it. It only shows up on Wayla, but it shows up as regular nightstone. Yes, that is nightstone. As second you stand on it, it turns at nighttime. Oh. And all of the nightstone actually acts as the spawners too. So you, so mobs can spawn on the nightstone, like at certain times of the night. Ooh. Yeah. So yeah, it, it, it is very nasty stuff. Uh, there's 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 a couple ways to deal with it. You can just break it, or we can, like I said, we can go in the back way and just kind of avoid most of it to get to the Enderman spawner. Enderman spawner room. There's actually a whole room full of spawners, like four or five of them in one room for Enderman. Uh, and and that's one of the reasons I didn't 
uh, increase the overworld spawn rate on Endermen is because of these. It is possible to find plenty of Endermen in the overworld if you find one of these. So it makes these even more hmm. valuable to find. That explains a lot. He's definitely well, inside I'd... there somewhere. Yeah, I don't think the rare mob is going anywhere. No, it will, it will not despawn. It is a Dalek mod. Mo Dalek mobs don't mobs do not despawn. Just kind of looking around, see if there's any. Okay, I gotta do also be careful. There's a couple of holes in the ground that are from when we uh, careful. Careful. I'm just gonna fill this back in so that we don't accidentally fall in there, or so that nobody else accidentally falls in there. Here's a few more gravestones over here that we missed. I think that's about as good as we need to get. I mean, if there's any more left, I don't think it's going to be a big issue. I think we've been all around the interior mm -hmm. area here. Alright. I think at this point we're ready to go in. Oh, there's, there's a couple. And I said we wanted to go in the back door. So, oh, here's a yep. bunch over in this corner that we missed. Oh my. And chickens. And the atmosphere is getting foggy. Yes, that is because the sun is about to go down here. So at this point, it's debatable whether we want to bother sleeping. Here's another one of those those holes straight down into the ground. So I'm gonna fill that in so that we don't nobody falls in that. Yeah, it is a bit. Uh, it is debatable whether we actually want to go in the front. Uh, whether we want, want to, whether we want to sleep it off. I mean, because. Eventually, we're going to step on a nightstone, so it doesn't matter if we sleep it off or not. But I say play it safe. Okay. Let's do it then. Play it safe because it's... It, well, it saves death, and that gets a little bit inconvenient. Yeah, no problem. I am in the bed. All right. I got a bone in my hand. Yeah, might as well drop off stuff again. We need to make another chest. Uh, did I throw some wood in that chest? Maybe I don't. Know. I can. I can make it. I have a craft. Of course, there's a crafting table right there, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, there's. You might as well make another double chest and just stack it up, or stack it in the corner over there. Or, yeah. or a few while you're at it. Fill the room yeah. up with chest. Well, I derped <laughs> and made one by accident. I did math wrong. <laughs> yeah, we'll just do a whole stack of, of wood. There we go. Let me go. We don't need a, we don't need a window. Oops. I guess those ones will work nope. because... Uh, and I don't have a thing like tripwire, so I can't do anything there. But we can put some on top of there. Got a heart put two there. crystal shard. We can put one more up here on this stack. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, we could. So if I remove that one. Did that. Alright. Put all the rest of this away. That'll go in. Put some stuff in there. How effective are torches in there? Uh, they, they're, they're effective. I mean, yeah, they light it up. They will prevent spawn, normal spawns anyway. They won't prevent, like, it's a special spawn, but probably not anyway. Oh, hello. Sorry, this gun didn't fire last time when needed it, and I needed to test it. <laughs> it works. At least you didn't test it on me. Just near me. <laughs> oh, oh, I know better. Hey, we missed a gravestone. There's a you got few it. few of them over here, actually, right, right here. Okay. All right. All right. I'm just gonna break these nightstones right here at the entrance. That'll help in case we have to make a retreat. Now, the interesting thing is when you break a nightstone, it turns into nether brick, and then you can put it back in the safe. Okay. So, just so you know. Uh, you can actually craft nightstone. It's something you can craft. It is necessary in the uh, creation of the altar to do the resurrection. 
so there's all that. Um, oh uh -oh, yeah, we're going gotta... in the side. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I got a, a blighted monster because I broke some bones. He's in the lava, and I am running out of run, here. Run, run, get in the water, water, water. Cross the water. Drop a... You dropped the heart crystal shard? Should have, yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to you. You're the one who earned it. Alright, where are you? Right here, right here. In fact, if I look, I think I have, yeah, I have enough to craft a heart. And I have a crafting grid in my inventory. Nice. So there yeah. You go. Heart. I got heart. Yay! Those away, dirt there, extra torches here. All right, I'm ready. I'll say so. The, the side entrance is like actually outside of the gate on this side, where I uh, tunneled into the Enderman room. So if you come over this way, it is a bit of a twisty, windy fiasco. But uh... oh, hello, Mister. Shoot, that ain't gonna work. Friendly fire. I get you. Yeah. Sorry. Ooh, I saw that explode. Splatter. Okay, right here. Now, if you have an auto torch, I just turn it on. That'll help. That we... Nope, I got manual torches. Okay. I, I do, so I want to turn mine off. My fire charm's empty, but. Oh well, I don't think I'll have to worry too much about fire unless we go deep into here, and I doubt we're going to get that far, so... Uh, right here, is this kind of like a precautionary... You can do a too tall jump, right? No. Uh, with, you can't with that equipment? Check. Nope, not quite. Okay, so... Maybe... Dude, you didn't have any wood with you, did you? Okay. Well, that'll work. Um... Yeah, I left that too tall jump there just to kind of like if I had to retreat because the armor that I have allows me to do too tall jump. Hey, the torch is lighting up green. Yeah, that is it's like a glitch with the uh, there's like these special candles that have a green flame and they tend to cause the other candles around them to get green. But here we go. Oh. Right there's the Enderman room. I've uh, cleared out a lot of the... Uh, pillars so that you can actually see into the room. Now normally there's like all kinds of pillars in there and the ender and the spawners themselves are actually under the pillars. Yeah. Um and above the pillar. Just die already, there you go. <laughs> uh and then I've I've actually got a spot around this side so I can get to some more over here. Cool. So how do you pick up the loot? Uh well that's the dangerous part. I break the block, step forward, then place, then step back and place the block back down. <laughs> that is the dangerous bit. In fact, what I wanted to do was go over this way, around the outside edge of the room. And it's real easy to see where the edge of the room is. because You gotta be careful about breaking bricks down here because some of them are... Ooh, that's a... T that's... Ah! Oh, that's an invisible mob too. Nasty. Yeah. Hey. Is he him? No, he's not even. These endermen have like lots of different get... Yeah, like fifty plus hearts. It's like Oh. You, okay? you wanna hear something really absurd? What's that? In the last episode of FTB Departed that I did, we went to the Shire Land and there was a boss. They had 5,000 hearts. Dang. And when you thought you were done, no. It was a two-part battle. Basically, it was a rider and a mount. 
You killed the mount at 5,000 hit points. Oh. You had to kill the rider for an additional 3,000. Dang. Okay, one of the ways that you could get the loot, I've been told that it, it does work in vanilla too. Um, the yo-yo has an enchantment called uh, collecting. And oh. it will actually pick the loot up for you and bring it back to you. So it'll stick to the yo-yo and then you can bring it back, pull the yo-yo back in and it'll bring your loot back to you. Nice. That's what I do. <laughs> That's what I do. I just break the block, step out, grab the loot, step back, and hope that nothing else comes in while I'm doing that. It looks like... What is that over there? Did that thing really drop that many beats? I wonder if that is like from a previous time that I died and had all those beats in this inventory. Maybe. Pew, 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 pew. That is hilarious. That's a big gun. Was that your shotgun? Yeah! Yeah, Grog gave me a shotgun. Now you do gotta be careful about it if you go out in the hallway. Everyone, everywhere that the, uh, just about everywhere that the, um, uh, the nether brick looks like it crosses the path, that's actually Nightstone. Unless you're in a room. The, like, the stuff inside the room in there, that's just not a nether brick. Yeah. Ooh, there's a, there is actually a line of nightstone in that room. Ooh, nasty. Oh, that's better. I had to turn down the sound. <laughs> yeah, I probably should, should do that. Hopefully it's not going to come to you too much. <laughs> it probably will. It probably can be really good. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, and they explode in purple gas. Purple gas. Spray and pray. Spray and pray. I'm out of ammo for the shotgun. Ooh. I should actually quickly see if I can't turn the game sound down just a little bit. You know what that would be? That'd be Claire's? Maybe? I just I just turned down master volume. Oh we got I'm a blight. I'm just curious as to what actually the the, sh the guns are on volume level on but that's okay. Just master yeah. volume. We got a blighted enderman. Oh yeah I've seen a few of them in there. Got this thing scaled up really high. <laughs> they really, really like me. They like me, they really do. You got a skeleton going into the room. Oh, I see him. Whoa! Instant aggro, dude! Okay. So yeah, this is the Enderman farm. <laughs> this is the safe way in to the, on the side. Um, 
Do you want to try to go up and walk in the front door? <laughs> Uh, I've, I've actually got a... I mean, the front door is, like, really not far from here. Um, if you wanted to check it out. Okay. Like, okay, so... When we go through... Okay, there's probably going to be a bunch of things right around the corner here. Break this one. Yeah, I got five clips of ammo left. Okay, Watch it, zombie! Ah, baby zombies, 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 zombies. Right, oh, step back, step back. Running back. Ah! Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Stupid baby zombies, I didn't account for that. I don't want to... You, you out of there? You out of there? Not quite. Run, run, In run, fact, run, run, run. I'm running with the zombies. Run, 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 run. I want to... Oh, yeah, I don't want to... Didn't want to shoot because I was afraid I was going to shoot you. Ah! Oh! Oh! Skeleton thing. Skull. Call. Ah! Woo! Oh, I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. I'm up. All right, I'm running in the water. I'm running in the base. Good call. Whew. <laughs> I am just about out of clips. I didn't realize it was nighttime out. Oh, that one. And another one. Oh, cool. That was two heart crystals. I'll, I'll give you one of these. Let's uh, let's head over to the... I'm going to head over and do the sleep. <laughs> yeah. Before we get overrun. I'm actually out of ammo. <laughs> you dig it? Yeah. You want to make sure you bring Donna ammo to here. Oh, wait. I got another clip. But I'm running really low. Ooh, let's see. What do I got left? Ooh. Ten clips of scar and nine clips of machine gun. Ooh. I only have three clips of assault. One for you. Yay! Well, I think we narrowly... Hey, look what I got. A limit parcel. Nice. From one of the Endermen. That is sweet. Nice. 22 Ender Pearls on this run. Pretty nice. And like, well, tons of other just random stuff. Random stuff. Lots of villager yeah. corpses to uh, to resurrect my own village. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff. And I am going to use these bones to make concrete. You may want to pick up your player launcher and your glider. Oh, thank you. Yep, we put those away. That's my that's my get get uh, to my dead <laughs> kit <laughs> get to my death kit. Okay, all right. So how about we wrap it up? Yep, sounds good. I think we did an excellent job. I mean, we didn't really go in the front door. I mean, we could if you want. I can show you just how close that. I I, I just want to show just the audience how close it is. Also, you're probably going to see that it's about to go night again. So don't sleep. But. Uh, yeah, if you go in the front door, that Enderman room is like like straight in. That's what that was the nicest thing. I've, I've that's I would have never found it if it weren't for, for well, I probably wouldn't. Yeah, because this is all nightstone at the bottom of the stairs right here. Look at all that. So it, even though I broke the little bit at the very entrance, like the second you hit this little alleyway down here at the bottom, you're gonna make it nighttime. I'm gonna kill kill that zombie. So there we go. Darkness is coming. But yeah, right here is the Ender Ender room. Like right there. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Get him, get him. Ooh, ooh, Enderman. I did not, did not expect that. Ooh, 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 come here, come here, Enderman. Ooh. I got him. Stay to the, stay to the right. You're good. Stay to the right. Stay to the right. Whew. Got it armored. I'm out. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all that XP laying down there. Do you want it? Do you I want know. it? It's tempting you. <laughs> I know it is, but I'm not dying. 
<laughs> Ooh, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, All right that's split, man. that's pushing our luck as much as we want to today. But yeah, <laughs> it only gets more insane as you go. That's only level one. There's like five levels to that, and then it just gets totally crazy down towards the bottom. And uh, yeah. oh man, yeah. <laughs> uh, I think in the next update, probably expect to see some method of teaming up so that we can not do friendly fire. <laughs> Because that's, yeah. that's going to be uh, an important thing uh, for teamwork. Uh, because, yeah, especially with the guns. Especially with the guns. I don't I don't know if there's actually... I don't know if there's anything in the, the tech gun mod that already allows for that. I'm not sure. But if I'm, I'm either going to figure that out or I'm going to add a mod that specifically does uh, teaming. Uh, I mean, obviously there's vanilla commands and stuff like that. And I was thinking about just like putting those type, type of things in the uh, quest book. So that you could join Team A or Team B, or you know, maybe like have sixteen or so, like for the sixteen different colors. But yeah, uh, I, and then you know you'd I be think, able to switch teams from a time yeah. to time. I think we need to leave this outpost here for other people to use. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, we didn't we never actually set up the turrets. I brought those along. We didn't didn't seem to actually need them, so that's cool. No. I will just go ahead and put them back back where they belong. But. Uh, Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, this episode with uh, Whisper and uh, all of the excitement in the cat combs. So, till next time, I will catch you later. That's where you're supposed to say bye-bye. Bye-bye! <laughs>